So what I'm actually going to do is go over to the web. And if you go to the host name and slash myth web, that brings you to this. This is actually running on my myth TV machine. This is just the web interface. If I click on my listings, oh, heh, I think it's an error. Let's try my TV. No. Wow, it broke. Um, but let's go over and click on the settings. This is where I'm actually going to change a lot of this information. And here's all these channels I got. These are ones that it just scanned. I have, let's see, there's that 4 1 right here. 19568 is my XML ID for NBCLA. Uh, you don't really need the frequency, fine tune, video filter kind of stuff. That's not that important. And then you have your visible and use an on air guide or use the guide that you get from uh, Schedules Direct, which I do want to use that. And you can also say if it's commercial free, so it'll never flag commercials on that channel. So what I want to do actually is I want to change this. I want it to be channel four. And so now that's it. I just said it, channel four. Um, you can also see this is source ID is three, which if I go into my backend setup, three is my uh, QAM source that I set up. So that's correct. This is, I got my HD home run is channel four here. And all these should actually be the same guide from or same XML ID. I see this one is wrong, so I want to change that so that it may, it reflects the same guide information. So I have I have channel four four times here. This is my HD home run. This is my or no, I'm sorry. This is my HD PVR. This is my HD home run. This is my uh, what's it called the digital one. Actually, this was analog. This was correct. Source four is my analog tuner. So I need to change that back. What was that? 10,590. 10,590. And I'm not going to make these visible because I don't need them to be visible um, because I have, it, I have it visible once. And if I have it visible multiple times, it'll show up in my guide multiple times. I can still get to this channel by changing source inputs, but I don't need it to be there. And actually, I change all my analog channels are in my 100 range. All my digital channels are in my uh, 2 through 37. So I'm going to have to go back through in any of them that I don't want here. Like, let's see, here's channel 11, but this is the analog source. So I actually want that to be 111. And where'd that go? Here. I don't need this one to be visible because I already have it visible. So this one I need to change to 11 for my digital. Ch Tuner 3 is my qualm input. And I don't want that, and I don't need that. This takes a little while. You do have to, I have, as you can see, a ton of channels here. Um, most of these are already set up from, most of them are from my HD home run. And so most of them get their information through the guide information. I have a whole bunch here. Here's my 600 channels that had no name. I probably need to find out what these are and then go into Schedules Direct and actually uncheck them from the right source. Let's see. These are all ones, the 600 ones are ones that I named specifically because I don't know what they are and I need to go through and find out what exactly, if I want them, if I don't want them, whatever. So I'm going to save this. It's going to go ahead and update that information and if I go back to my front end. Let's go ahead and exit out of this guy. Okay. I don't want to run MythFill database again. Let's go ahead and run this on the front end here. Oh, ha! Huh. That's why I had an error. I have an error because my back end wasn't running. Whoops. Make sure you're not in the if you're in the back end setup over here, you're not going to get all this information because your back end's not running. Make sure your back end is running and you'll get all your guide information as you're supposed as it's supposed to be there. So, I think those settings that I just changed, oh, they did stick. Good. I think. Maybe maybe not. I'm going to have to go back through that and double check. Um But as you can see in my listings, I only have channel 4 once, but I have channel 5 twice because I haven't edited that yet. I also don't have an icon for one of them because I haven't downloaded the icon. So the biggest thing with ch setting up your channels is go into MythWeb, TV, 
channel info and you're going to want to make sure all this all these XML TV IDs are correct according to schedules direct as well as your channel numbers I want that to be 2 because it's digital DT is digital it's on my qualm input and I want it to not be visible and not use the on air guide because I'm getting that guide from schedules direct so it takes a little bit of time I'll be honest but once it's all set up you will have channel for me I'll have channel two one two three four five times uh, twice in analog and three times in digital and why do I need that I probably don't but if I want to record something between channels 2 and 11 I can record three shows in HD at once I can record two shows in SD at once um, let's go back into here run the front end real fast and as you can see under let's schedule recordings program guide here's my guide here I only have channel 4 once but like I said I have channel 5 twice this is the analog this is the digital I need to change this channel number to be uh, 105 instead of 5 so that's <laughs> the long walkthrough of setting up sources TV channels and actually editing your channels uh, you can do it multiple ways but like I said I like doing it through myth TV because I can go here change the channel and go here and actually record or see what the channel is so if I go here and then change to let's say 606 I don't know what that is let's mute that I want to tune to this I have no idea what it is but we'll see 606 if it airs out on me I don't know it is something uh, it looks like Spanish and I don't really care about getting the Spanish looks like home shopping network almost so 606 I know that I can go over here let's just search for 606 there oh dang it here's my 606 and this checkbox here will delete the channel and so all I gotta do is save that now and that channel will be deleted and if I really want to, which I do really want to, I can go into Time Warner Cable on Schedules Direct and tell it whatever that channel was. Oh, I should have looked at that first. Um, actually, I, I'm not going to be able to delete it now because 606 is a number I gave it. It's not actually, it doesn't actually correspond to anything on here. So I would have to find out what channel that was and then uncheck the box so it'll never scan it again. Deleting the channel, as long as you don't, reset up your sources will be good enough to not re-download the channel again so that is the long way or just just one way to get through it um, you still have in your front end you still have a ton of settings here for your setup TV set channels um, you have how you want them ordered all sorts of stuff but I think I've gone very long on actually setting up the back end and you can figure out some of this stuff. Play around with this. Change one setting at a time. I tend to change more than I want and I mess things up. Like right now I have an audio sync issue and I don't remember what setting I changed because I changed too many. So just go slow and uh, figure it out. And there's plenty of support out there and forums and mailing lists and all sorts of stuff. So have fun and enjoy uh, MythTV.